Well, it's not just the hot temperatures that are boosting the fire danger around us. Wind is another concern. In fact, firefighters in our area were quite busy today battling several fires. Yeah, the level of heat we're feeling can really take a toll on first responders. Ariel Yakabazi live tonight with how firefighters are working to stay school, uh, cool and safe while protecting all of us. I can't imagine being a firefighter when it gets this hot. Yeah, hey guys, so something that I didn't know when I started my day is that firefighters actually have to wear about 60 pounds of gear. That's including, you know, the jacket, the pants, the boots, and that's not even including all the stuff that they have to carry when actually fighting those fires. So certainly a difficult job, and it's made a lot harder by this extreme heat. The dog days of summer seem far from over. Yeah, it's warm. Uh, it's, you know, slowing down a lot of things, right? The false fall we saw last week, much cooler than the triple digit record breaking temperatures we're seeing now. We got high temperatures and very low humidity, relative humidity with some wind. So you throw all that together and there is a significant uh, concern for fire. That's exactly what happened today. Two brush fires. Officials say a fire in Banks was started by a farm tractor striking a power pole, knocking down electrical wires. Fighting fire in 100 degree other was not on my bingo card for today. And another fire in Scapoose, still under investigation. But these incidents go to show how heat can impact hot jobs like firefighting. It makes it very difficult which is why crews are constantly taken care of. We have two rehabilitation rigs throughout the city that would respond to a scene providing uh, liquids, refreshments. They would also monitor the vital signs of the firefighters as they were in rehab to make sure that they were healthy enough to return to work if they needed to do so. As Portland Fire and Rescue crews left Station 28 for an emergency call. All right, take care of that. Crews reminded us of the importance of keeping an eye out for one another. Everybody knows their body, but they're, they're directed and instructed to make sure that they're as healthy as they can be throughout their, their tour, throughout their shift. Yeah, so as Rick mentioned here in his interview today, they have specific rehabilitation rigs, but they also, as firefighters respond to fire-related events, they also respond to heat-related illnesses. So they actually have specific rigs that go out and help people as they're facing an emergency with that heat-related illness. When it gets hot, we tend to get sick. So be sure that you're drinking lots and lots of water over the next few days and use as much shade as you can. And if you have AC, I'd be sure to turn that on. Reporting live outside of Station 9 in Southeast Portland tonight, Ariel Yakabazi, Coin 6 News. Oh.